now that we've gone ahead and built our groups, I want to get in and build a 2D plan view. Now, a 2D plan view, I mean, technically anything in Onyx, not anything, not patching, but a lot of these steps, groups, presets, you know, you could ignore, you could skip a step, but at the end of the day, you're, it's going to just frustrate you because you're not using the software the way it was intended to be used. Um, like, you can build a show without any groups, it just makes your life harder, right? Um, and so the, the 2D plan, I feel like, is one of those things. Um, it's not 100% necessary, not everybody uses it, but as we continue to move into the future and pixel mapping becomes a bigger part of shows and events that we do, um, using the 2D plan in Onyx is just going to be such a big part. If we go to the 2D plan on the left sidebar, it is view number seven in our current demo show. We will see, I'll go to the, the main thing here, we'll see the top view here already built for you, but I'm going to show you everything you need to do to build this as well. So the top view uh, is, is uh, like so, there's a front view and there's also a pixel view of the strip lights that are behind the band. Now how do we add stuff to this view? Well, it's simple. We select the lights. So maybe we go and we select our group of our Artiste Da Vinci's, okay? We go into edit mode here on our 2D plan by pressing live, press add, and then choose an add mode. So fixtures is what you get um, by default. Add mode, you can do them individually. For a lot of things, I prefer the straight line mode. Um, there is the freeform line though, circle and grid as well uh, when you have fixtures in a grid. Uh, so we'll just do that line press place fixtures, and then as it says right here at the top, boom, draw a line. Um, it can, as you can see, the red line will help you determine if things are crooked or not. You can get them nice and straight. Awesome. Uh, we can add things other than individual fixtures though. So you can go and you can clear to deselect. Uh, you can select other fixtures, bring them in. Uh, you can also bring in some other elements though that are really handy. Let's do that. So if we go and we look at our other options here, you see we have combined fixtures. This is going to be any multi-part fixture, which is typically uh, fixtures like LED fixtures that have multiple cells. Um, in this case, they're strip lights that are long. They could be a light with pixel mapping on the lens. Stuff like that is going to show up here in the combined fixtures. You select them and then add them via the same add modes. Zone fixtures is for the Dialos pixel mapper. We'll get to that a little bit later. Groups are great because we can add those groups. Just select them just like the combined fixtures. Go ahead and add them. Draw a line here. Maybe I want to move them. Okay, I made them too close so I can just uh, move this. And this goes for anything, not just groups. I can move that guy. And then I can go align, spread, boom, align bottom. Awesome. So groups are awesome because here in the 2D plan, you can select that group. It selects the lights all working visually. Um, now, uh, you might be like, okay, why should I use this 2D plan? Well, as, as I said before, there's really two. There's The first good reason is the pixel mapper. Um, using the zones, being able to run video-like content across your lights is just a game changer and so stinking awesome. But also, you can use it as a general visualizer. So if I turn these lights on and I point them somewhere, I see that represented here in the 2D plan. Is it 100% accurate? No, but there are some tools, there's some settings in the options that you can do to get it closer to accurate for your situation. But it gives you a general idea of what's going on and you can use it to pre-program if you don't have a 3D visualizer. And it's, you know, it's better than what we had in the old days, which was nothing. So uh, <laughs> that is that. But you know, really great tool because it'll show you colors as well too. So it just, it gives you a good idea of what's going on with the lights uh, so that you can more easily select things. You can also select with the 2D plan. So if you want to select lights, like here I'm holding shift. Oops, I dropped it. I can select a selection of different lights. I can also click on them. That's a little more reliable or press on them. And now I've selected half those lights, boom, I change the color, boom, happens on stage, done. So 
you can see how the 2D plane can really be a big help, uh, both individual lights groups, seeing things, selecting things. Uh, it's just another great tool for your toolbox. And uh, it can be, as you see here, it can be a magic sheet. It could just be, you know, your lights in a sequential order. It can be a front view. It can be a top view. It can be anything you want. That's kind of the beauty of it. Um, so uh, the other things the 2D plane can do, as you see, we have uh, these different ones on the bottom. So if we go into edit mode, uh, we can add more pages here on the bottom with this add, uh, rearrange, rename, delete, and copy, uh, which is real handy. Um, there are some options as well that can be handy. If you want to do a background image like we've got here, they've got the band. Uh, just It's just a photo uh, that they brought in. They're ping images, PNGs. And you go in there, image visibility, turn that on, choose image. You go and you choose that image. You go find it. It has to be a PNG file. And then you can scale it accordingly. So that could be cool. People put their logos for it, uh, you know, view the stage, whatever. It's cool. Um, other than that, that's pretty much all you got in the 2D plan. It's not all that complicated, but it's going to help you to do a better job at working in Onyx and be able to more effectively and more efficiently work with the lights that you have. And that's our goal here at Learn Stage Lighting and uh, Learn Stage Lighting Onyx. So if you love that, guys, give it a big thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe here. And next, we're going to go into our next video talk all about using presets. We'll see you guys there. Thanks.